hello, it's your boy Graphic Arc here and today actually guys look at this behind me we will be testing for spoken on our beloved uh, Intel Arc A770M. Huh? Let's do it. It got updated the game and uh, it shall be good. Let's go. So here we are in Forspoken and I'm sorry guys but my A770M doesn't want to have usage and what's up there. It uh, said minus 30,000 so I guess we are giving electricity back. <laughs> so yeah, statistics are what they are. We will be using maximum preset. I mean it's custom because I turned uh, off the motion blur and stuff. We will be using here uh, XSS ultra quality because... Uh, we will be comparing maximum settings with ray tracing on as you can see everything to the max and uh, why I've decided to only test ultra quality XCSS hmm? it's because uh, they don't give much performance the lower versions you can see in the top left corner right now the ultra quality is really the best one because no, not much shivering and stuff and uh, yeah this here guys this here I'm back at the screen Look, here it's DLL, uh, XSS 1.2, just the DLL file. And as you can see, it's working just fine. So we will be testing out the quality and check what will happen and uh, see. Let's compare it now and go. Let's look here the first scene with XCSS 1.1 and see what kind of graphical anomalies we are getting. As you can see there at the fence, at the start we had some shimmering there. On the left side there's also something going on. But overall the picture quality is actually looking pretty good. If we test quality mode, guys, lots of shimmering, lots of effects going on on these fences while it here at ultra quality. Check the fences here at the road sides and there. No, still some flickering going on here on the left side but overall picture quality like I said it's looking pretty good I advise you if you are going to use upscaling use XCSS 1.2 uh, version because later we will compare there's some slight difference I think it works in this game at least based on my understanding but we will check together and see how it goes but as you can see overall at 1.1, I did replace the DLL files, I'm not sure if the updated version is using 1.1. I used, I downloaded the 1.1 and here, uh, used it in this game and it seems to work just fine. So uh, yeah, let's go to 1.2 and see what's going on. FPS seems similar, but we do see, see, the, oh look at these guys, there's more flickering here on the right fence, but uh, overall quality, hmm. I think it looks a bit more sharper and some darker areas are more lighter, if you know what I mean. Uh, later on you will see what I mean by that, because we will have side-by-side -side comparison. But uh, also, XSS 1.2, I think there's some shimmering going on, some anomalies in graphics, which could be caused by this, because game... We just use one DLL file. I deleted everything else. We just use the XSS 1.2 DLL file and uh, it seems to work. So I, we can assume it's using 1.2 in this case. But uh, yeah, I mean, the first scene that we look at it here seems to be almost the same as 1.1 run that it was. X FPS was around 40 here as well. So yeah, let's here go side by side comparison on the next run. And uh, guys, as you can see, or is it just me, but uh, I think the colors look more darker and more sharper. Or is there, or maybe 1.2 is not rendering the fog because it doesn't know how to render it in this case. As you can see, the 1.2, it's more darker image than the left one. So I'm not sure. Uh, 1.2 actually looked better to me, but I think the fog effect disappeared. <laughs> Let's check 1.1 here, this scene is quite demanding, but uh, okay, the colors look the same now as it did before, so hmm. you let me know down in the comments below, based on your findings, if you found anything, sadly only 1440p to compare, because 4K, you know, again, I forgot to turn on my A770M to my 4K monitor, which is right beside me, so <laughs> next video when I record A770M system nook. I will make sure that it also record 4K, but um, 
I mean, look at this guys, XSS 1.1, it's working pretty good, looking pretty good, and uh, we get about 40 FPS average, it seems, hmm, yeah, okay, now this, this is one of the more demanding areas here in the benchmark, and uh, look at the building here in the middle, it, it looks more light, right, there in, on the 1.1, it's more darker, everything is uh, more sharper on 1.2, based on what i can see i don't have glasses on right now but i'm still not blind so uh, let me know if it looks more sharper to you as well or is it just me hmm? look at the stones here at the bridge and the bridge itself i think there's more quality to it than uh, on 1.1 also the trees look a bit more sharper i think but uh, okay with this 30 fps here going on <laughs> it is what it is um, but yeah the fps is the same in 1.2 as 1.1 based on the comparison we have left and right now loading time i was a bit slower on the second run for some reason but uh, yeah you can expect about 40 fps average xcss ultra quality at 1440p and ray tracing turned on Optimize settings, we have video for this before, I haven't tested it now, but I would assume they are the same. And as you can see here, the scene ended and we got 36 FPS average at both runs, so uh, yeah, let's just run here to the city streets. Let's see now if we get any shimmering or if there are any difference between 1.1 and 1.2, but uh, FPS is the same, we are kept at around 30, 32 FPS right now, seems to be pretty similar i think 1.2 version looks a bit more crystal clear and brighter but as you can see here at the fence left this uh, there was some shimmering while on 1.1 there wasn't so uh, hmm, yeah you let me know I down in the comments home. below what you think if uh, 1.2 actually works in this game and if it looks sharper or not <laughs> Here we have some more uh, XCSS 1.2 gameplay on A770M, everything cranked to the max including ray tracing and uh, yeah, enjoy some uh, gameplay here while I do some more commentary for another video, I mean for another minute or two. I hope you guys are doing all okay, uh, what, we, uh, are you, what have you been playing lately? Hmm? I'm still stuck at Final Fantasy 16. God damn it, man. Yesterday I was playing it for 9 hours and I still think uh, I have a lot to do. But I do work on getting it 100% complete. So getting all the trophies, you know, be the completionist that I am. <laughs> Anyways, yo, my colleague, he has some other work now to do. So uh, not many videos from intel arc a770 on our intel system are there but the ones that are available i will uh, slowly and uh, steady do the editing and uh, do some voiceover for that but yeah have you played for spoken right now it's fixed but i think the storyline it's still uh, mediocre or uh, yeah <laughs> though uh there's, it's, we got similar performance on A770M that we got on A770 when we first tested the game way back then when the demo was released. So, uh, yeah, not much has changed except the visual quality of the game. Now it looks much, much better indoors and even outdoors. Some areas are looking way better. And uh, the performance, well, uh, there was some stuttering before on demo version, but I think now it's a lot better, as you can see. We got a smooth line graph there. Okay, there are some drops here and there, but that's... It is what it is. Anyways, uh, let me know your thoughts on XCSS 1.2. Is it working? And is it looking better in this game or not? And, uh, yeah, stay this long. Make sure you like, subscribe, you know, the drill. And uh, we will see you guys in the next one, hmm? right? Right now they cursed me here, look at this, ah, oh my god, I'm gonna pass out!